welcome back to War Pig Prepper. As you can see, I shaved. I had to. Work made me. It sucks, but everybody says I look about 10 years younger. Alright, today on the Average Joe, I am going to discuss a helmet. That's, uh, it's, a, it's, called, it's a budget helmet. It comes in under $1,000. It's not too bad. If anybody's ever heard of a company called Highcom, apparently they've been in business since the 90s. They do more on like law enforcement, stuff like that. Their website claims to never have a failure in 25 years on any of the gear they sent out. And they've never had any recalls. Now, I used to have an even more budget-friendly helmet from Hardhead Veterans. And I bought it about two years ago. And after watching some uh, some videos on YouTube, I thought it was, uh, the video seemed decent. And the uh, everybody shooting them, the way they look, I had mine, it felt fantastic. The, uh, the insides, the padding, all that felt fantastic. Then all these new videos started coming out of people shooting them. And uh, I didn't like what I was seeing. I really didn't. So I sold mine on eBay. After eBay got their cut shipping, and I only got like half of what I paid for it. Anyway, Highcom. Not bad, about three pounds, maybe a little more. It comes with a Wilcox. So you can mount your night vision. The only downside so far to this helmet is the straps that it comes with. Yeah, I put duct tape on it here to hold in my little pieces after I rolled them up. These straps are just absolutely terrible. You, I remember buying some from some military surplus helmet I had. And these feel like the same type of straps. I only paid like $15, $20 for them. So these are pretty bad. Padding's not bad. You know, they're all velcroed in. You can just take them out. And by budget, I meant it was about $750. I got it from a place called Apex Armor Solutions. And the only reason I started upgrading my stuff is because I'm on a Facebook page for basically bullying people about their gear. And it, it worked because I started looking uh, deeper into my gear purchases and even more reviews and things like that. And uh, which is why I decided to get rid of my hardhead veterans helmet. I'm not saying they haven't made good products in the past, but as of, they were Chinese made. Yeah, American business, Chinese made. And they just came out with their news, was it Sweetwater, Texas facility? So maybe in a couple years, I might give them another try. We'll see. But this is Made in America. Alright, they are I had to look up where where they were made. They were made in Ohio. So good right there in middle America. I wish uh this is backwards, so you really can't see it. Anyway, high com armor. Yeah. Maybe I should I'll take a picture of it and put it on here. Alright, lucky for us on eBay. We get these. This is... Oh, crap, still backwards. Anyway, this is the OCC dial they put in uh, Opscore. Anybody know what Opscore is? Opscore is? They are the premier helmets. But us pours, I can't afford... I can't justify spending $1,600 on a helmet. I wish I could. I just can't do it. I'm not in law enforcement. So maybe if I was... I would splurge on it, but I'm just a prepper, so a little bit more budget-friendly it is. I mean, they've never had a failure, they say, so we'll see. Anyway, you can buy this for $65. I think with shipping it was and taxes, it was $75. So you get the same internals as an ops core that I can take all this crap out of and put the good stuff in. All right, here it is. They, they sent me all their, their pads and stuff. You got this bad boy. This is what's going to put on your head, and you got your little dial you can tighten her down with. Just as simple as that. And it's going to 
I'm gonna tonight. I'm gonna put it inside here, and then I will finish the rest of this video and show you how it looks, how it feels. But basically, just moving around the house, LARPing, getting in my gear, uh, closing my curtains so the neighbors don't think I'm a complete weirdo. Moving around the house. Feels good. Feels good so far. I, mean, I did get some counterweights I'm going to put on the back as well. And uh, I'll let you see the finished product in a bit. It took a little doing, but I actually got the ops core in here. Ah, oh, my long hair gets in the way. Probably should have did this beforehand. And I could tell an immediate notice of quality. It, it was something else. Got my little worm dial on the, not worm dial, but I got my little dial on the back. The straps feel a lot better. Is well worth the seventy-five dollars, I believe. All right, see, this is what the inside looks like now. I did use the the middle pad from the uh, from the old setup, but I also used a lot of of the new pads. Ah, you can see, you can see right there that back one right there, and there's some on the sides. Ah, you can see it. Anyway. That dial is so much better. It's just, I need to get some longer screws for the back so I can hook in here. I actually had to put in this, uh, I got the lovely chance of putting it in twice because once I got everything secured in it, I left my rails off. Because you have to take the rails off to put your harness on. I left them off, got it all put together, and I was like, well, crap. All right. Well, anyway, it feels good. I was in there shaking my head. Works fantastic. What else? And here is some of the extra pads. It comes with thick ones and thin ones that you can adjust yourself if you need it. Now, so you can choose between the old pads and the other ones. Not really sure if I will or not also some instruction on it this thing was actually kind of a pain to put in but after i figured out what i was doing this ah, front piece here i had to I had to rotate it down put my screws in then rotate it back up and then secure them down if not because if you try and put it in here just straight ahead your holes actually won't line up. They're going to be about a quarter inch off. So if you just do what I did. Rotate it down. Put your screws in. Don't tighten them. With your little, little harness. And just slide it back up. Just rotate it back up to the lip. Boom. And she is right. God, I need a better camera. Uh, can you see? Anyway. Yes. That's it. It's actually really good. I'm super glad I bought it. And now I have a helmet. I don't have to worry about getting deformed if I ever get domed for the 44. God, I hope not. But then again, if it does, I guess it really won't matter now, will it? Unless I'm laying on the floor thinking, man, I should have bought a hops core. But look at this. Not bad for a grand total of, I don't know, 850 bucks. 750 for the helmet and another 75 for the harness, which you can find those easily on eBay. If you buy them, you can buy Team Wendy ones, but they're like 130 bucks on Amazon and even from them. So, and there's only two real types. I believe there's one's the Team Wendy and the other one's Opscore that will actually fit in here. I found that on Reddit. Some uh, some other things. Anyway, that's it.